to It Gets Real, where I talk about a real life problem or issue that teenagers often have in my pajamas. Hey y'all, I'm so excited because today is the third episode of It Gets Real. So if you don't know, every Thursday I post a video where I talk about a real life issue, like I said in the very beginning. Today I am in my robe. I think I've been in a big t-shirt and a onesie so far, and today I'm in a bathrobe. My bun is so weird, like I just don't understand how to do messy buns. And like I actually tried on this, which is why it's funny because it's a messy bun. But anyways, pause this video right now and subscribe, and please go follow my Instagram. I love Instagram and I love YouTube, so if you guys subscribe, it'll just be great I'm trying to get to a million subscribers before May which would be amazing anyways let's get straight on with this video oh, all right so today I don't have a specific topic that I want to talk about I want to talk about just the overall teenage struggles I need to turn my Iowa down. I won't be looking like flashback Mary okay I think overall teenagers especially girls I mean this kind of video is this whole series is pretty much just for girls but there's lots of things that we have to do with pretty much every single day that are just kind of like annoying and they're just things that I feel like all people can relate to so I'm gonna talk about them so you guys feel like you're not alone because you're not I'm in such a weird mood today like why am I doing this okay let's go on my phone the first one is comparing yourself to other girls on social media this is a huge one in our generation this year I always like am looking at people and I'm like oh why don't I look like her why does my body not look like her why does my hair not look like hers and like that's honestly just so annoying I hate looking at social media when I'm in like a bad mood I always feel bad about myself after looking at social media fighting with siblings you guys understand this probably if you have siblings my siblings I love them and we usually don't fight but my two little brothers I probably fight with them the most because they're younger than me and like they're always like Annie, come on the trampoline with me when I'm like really tired or I'm just like laying in my bed and I'm like not feeling too great. They're like, come play with me and I feel bad saying no. So it's like ugh, being bloated. All the time I'll wake up and you're like super skinny after waking up because you, you know you had the night and you weren't eating anything at all and you feel really great about yourself. But then later that night after you've eaten everything, I get so bloated at nighttime and I'm always like, oh no, I gained weight. And the next morning it's just the same routine. Having periods. By the way, a lot of y'all wanted to know if I got it at Playlist Live because I talked about having a period and I'm saying that like by the dates and stuff I was supposed to get it at playlist live but I actually got it on the last week of February and the first day of playlist which wasn't bad because it was really light that day because it was like the last day when you first get your period it's very irregular so I got it twice in one month but my mom said that's completely normal having to shave so I love shaving because I feel so good like I just shaved right now and I'm like ooh, I feel so nice the only thing is like you have to shave so much because the next day you have like those little spikes and the little studs on your leg and like it you automatically feel bad and you feel like you need to shave even if it's not that the hair is not long it's still annoying because there's just a little bit there and your legs aren't smooth anymore my leg hair only lasts smooth completely smooth for at least for like a day and sometimes even that night it grows back like why does my natural why does my my head hair not grow fast but my leg hair grows fast it's just really annoying because I feel like having shaved legs feels gross and you feel dirty and like I just hate not having shaved legs so I'm always shaving which is really annoying having a huge crush on a boy who doesn't like you back. I used to deal with this a lot, obviously not anymore. I used to deal with this all the time. I would have a crush on someone. I wouldn't tell them because I'm not really that type of person to like tell somebody. I don't know, I'm, I get too scared. Um, but you can always just figure out if a guy likes you back or not. And usually they don't. <laughs> Love this. Not knowing where to shop that is trendy. I always find stores and like I'll go in and I'm like, oh yeah, a kid's store. And they don't have anything trendy. It's like basic navy t-shirts and like denim shorts. I struggle with this a lot and I feel like there's not enough stores for our age because there's lots of like kid stores and toddlers. Who cares about that? You know, like toddlers don't need to be dressed nice. Obviously, there should be kid, little kid stores like babies. And then there's like juniors and then there's like women. But like there's rarely any stores for like kids or there's like a kids department which is like way uglier like like in JC Penney the kids department is not very cute but their junior section is so cute like I don't understand it I feel like people don't care enough about our age group so like 13 to like 9 there's not enough cute clothes and like I'm not gonna be able to fit little toddlers but I'm not gonna be able to fit a woman's clothes and I want to look trendy growing out of your favorite clothes I hate when like you le you put away your summer clothes and the next summer you take them on and you're like I'm so excited to wear these and they don't fit you Ugh. getting acne I feel this I have a spot right here I've never really had like acne acne obviously I'm still young um, but I try to keep my skin very healthy if you guys want to see a skin routine 
comment down below. But acne is annoying and it's a natural thing. Even if you have good skin, you're still gonna get the occasional spot somewhere on your face. Honestly, just overall fitting time for school, friends, social media, and drinking enough water and eating healthy. Like, how do most humans do it? I don't understand. School takes up half your day. Videos for me takes up the other half of my day and then you have to remember to drink water your hygiene up like take showers and stuff I literally can't remember to drink water I don't think I've had a drink of water in a week and it's not healthy for me at all bra straps Oh my gosh, I can't tell you how annoying these are like if I'm ever wearing a shirt after sleepover And I forget to bring like a strapless bra or something then I have to like put my bra straps down But then my bra is kind of falling a little bit. I hate that toxic friends I did a whole episode about toxic friends how to deal with it how to get out of it um, And just bad friendships overall in my last it gets real so go check that out. Uncomfortable clothes that are really cute. If you have like this really cute skirt and a really cute shirt and you want to wear it and you're just uncomfortable the whole time but like you know you gotta suffer for your beauties but I always say that also just makes it that much better when you go home and you wear sweatpants. <laughs> Getting rides to places. I can't stress this enough. So we live in Texas but we live in more of the country which you would never expect because I look very glossy and pink. I know. Um yeah we have like five acres of land. It's amazing but because of that we live like 30 minutes away from like the city like the woodlands and downtown Houston's an hour away and so all my friends who live in the woodlands which is all of my best friends literally they all live so far away so to get anywhere I have to plan so far ahead and be like mom dad can you bring me somewhere there's five other of me there's five other kids so my parents never really have a lot of time to drive me around places which I understand it's just really annoying if I want to like go to Target and hang out with Hope but it's 30 minutes away how am I gonna get my parents to drive me 30 minutes there 30 minutes back another one is living far away from your best friend this is something that I really struggle with with one of my best friends Mackenzie I never get to see her but she's that type of friend that every time I see her it's like we click and we're like oh my gosh I remember you like I missed you so much and we just like always be best friends and we don't have to talk we like barely ever text but living Living far away from a friend or someone is very hard because it's out of your control so it, there's nothing really you can do about it. So those are the struggles that I got for you guys today. I love you guys so much and go to my community tab and go comment down below what topics I should talk about in my next It Gets Real. I'll be here next Thursday. Alright, bye guys! <laughs> Posing for the thumbnail is so awkward because I'm just like...